Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today we are gonna learn how to make some Barbie chip bags. That being said, this tutorial is going to be broken up into three different parts. The first part is how to make the template for a chip bag. So if you're not wanting to learn how to make a Barbie chip bag, that is fine because the first part of this is just going to be how to make the template for this. And then you could insert any theme after that. The second part of this is going to be how to make this exact chip bag from start to finish. And the very last part is going to be how to print this and assemble it to make it look just like this, like a beautiful chip bag. This is completely sealed on both ends. You would have to tear it apart to open it, but it is like the most popular birthday party favor right now are these chip bags. They are large enough that we can stick one of those like snack chip bags in here and even a couple other things. They are pretty decently sized. Okay, so for this project, I'm gonna be using Creative Fabrica, which is a website that I love because it has all the clip arts and fonts that I need. Um, the only thing is, is we're gonna have to search online for the clip art of the Barbie because they don't have any type of clip arts like that. Uh, but we're gonna be able to find that for free. Now, if you don't know what Creative Fabrica is, it's uh, $5 a month and you get access to their entire database. It is wild how much they have. Um, I like it because I can always find exactly what I'm looking for. This entire thing minus the Barbie uh, clip art was all found on Creative Fabrica. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Cricut Design Space for this project to design this project. That being said, I am not going to use my Cricuts at all to make this. I'm gonna show you how to design, use Cricut Design Space to design something amazing and then not even touch the machines. That's amazing. The great part about that too, is even if you don't have a Cricut, Cricut Design Space is free. So if all you wanna do is learn how to make chip bag party favors, you don't even need to buy a machine. Okay, for this project, there are some optional items and then there's non-optional items. Very first thing is, is you're going to need some sort of printing paper. I personally love this one right here. It's 30 pounds in its glossy paper. The reason why I'm using 30 pound is because it bends really nicely and it just prints really good. It bends really nicely. It makes a very clean finish. The other thing that goes with this is you are gonna need some scissors. I would suggest getting a guillotine cutter, but you don't necessarily need to have a guillotine cutter to finish this project. So that is an optional thing. And I actually don't even use the guillotine cutter with the printer that I have, and we'll get into that in part three. Okay, you are gonna need some sort of tape or glue. The easiest and fastest way to assemble these bags is going to be double-sided stick tape. And I'll link all of my supplies and the clip arts that I'll be using through Creative Fabrica in the description of this video. So just look at the description, all the links will be there. Double-sided stick tape will be your best friend when making these. This is not the most economical way of doing it, but it is going to be the fastest and less headache and stressful using this stuff. That being said, you could use hot glue. I have used hot glue in the past if I ran out of this. You could use regular school glue, like your paper crafting glue. Don't necessarily suggest that because it takes a while to dry. So you want something to be like an instantaneous dry. Double-sided st stick tape is where it's at. The last two supplies are definitely optional. You don't need these, but it makes things look really cute in the very end. The first one is, do you see this like scalloped edge right here? This is like, um, like what regular chip bags look like. You're gonna want to get these right here. Now these ones are like heavy duty ones. I don't like the um, ones that come in like the big packs that you can get at the craft store. These are the ones that I get off of Amazon and they're really nice and heavy duty. And it's just gonna give you that like clean edge look right here. The other thing that I have is this like little paper crinkle thing. It looks like this. Mine's dirty because it's old. I've had it for many years but that just gives you these ridges that are on the end of the paper. Again, totally optional. Okay, so let's go to Cricut Design Space. We are going to set up the template for this and then we'll go over to Creative Fabrica and get all the files that we need for this project. Let's get started. 
Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Cricut Design Space. We're gonna go over here into these hamburger lines and we're gonna do Canvas. We're gonna open up a blank window in Design Space. Okay, the very next thing you're gonna wanna do is come over here into Shapes and we're gonna insert a square. You're gonna want a square that has the pointed tips to it. So it's gonna be this one right here and we're just gonna insert that. Okay, then you wanna come up here into this lock button and unclick that. And for the width, we want it to be 11 inches. And for the height, we want eight and a half inches. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take that rectangle that we just created and Command D, which is duplicate. Okay, so for the duplicated rectangle, we are gonna uncheck this right here. And we're gonna change this width over to 2.75 inches. And then I'm just going to come up here and I'm gonna bump up the height just a little bit. This right here, it's not an exact science for the height. You can do it any size that you want. Just make it a little bit bigger than the eight and a half inches. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here into operations instead of basic cut. I'm gonna turn it over to a guide and I'm also gonna duplicate this. So Command D, which is duplicate. Now here is my second guide. They have the pink little outline on it. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna select all three of these and I'm gonna come over here into align and I'm gonna center vertically. Drag this up so it fits my screen perfectly. Okay, and then for this one on the left, I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard and click that rectangle and I'm gonna align it to the left. Now I'm gonna click that right outline that we created, press shift on my keyboard and then that gray rectangle and I'm gonna come up here into a line and I'm gonna align it to the right. Next, what you wanna do is we're gonna select just the outlines and we are gonna arrange this to the back. This, my friends, is your entire template for a chip bag. So if you've never created a chip bag before, this is your template to create one. I know it looks like nothing, but it will be your best friend in the end. So the middle portion that you see that doesn't have anything is going to be the front portion of your chip bag. Everything that's over here onto the right that is inside of this like rectangle, that pink rectangle, and everything on the left of that is going to be your flaps for right here. And then you can see eventually we do like put it together right here. This is gonna be your guide. Now, what you can do is, is you could save this and every single time you come to make your own chip bag again, just open up this template and this is the template that you are going to want to use. Okay, now that the hard part is over, it is so simple to make these chip bags. If you got this template, the rest is going to be easy breezy. Okay, now that we have our template done, we are gonna go into the customization part of this. So this is now part two of this tutorial. So the very first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna get that like pink glitter background. So I'm gonna go over into Creative Fabrica and all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do glitter, pink background. Okay, this is going to pop up. It's gonna be a whole bunch. I am just gonna find the one that I wanna use, which is gonna be this very first one and then you wanna press download. Okay, we're back over in Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna come over here into upload and upload image. I'm gonna find my download and then I'm going to insert the glitter of my choice. So I'm gonna do this glitter right here. I'm just gonna drag it and drop it. I'm gonna do complex and then press continue. Press continue again. We want this to be a print then cut image. We do not wanna check that gray box. We wanna keep it that, that cute glitter background and then I'm gonna rename this pink glitter. And then when you're done, press upload. Then what you wanna do is just press that upload and we're gonna to add to canvas. Okay, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna resize this. I'm gonna come over here into width and our length of our chip bag is 11 inches. So I'm just gonna do it like 11.25 just to make it a little bit larger than the chip bag itself. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna put this over that gray rectangle so what you could do is you can drag this rectangle up and what you want to do is take this pink glitter and we want to make sure we cover that entire gray chip bag. If you come over here and you can see how like the, the pink glitter, it doesn't cover the entire portion of that gray rectangle, you don't want that. You want to make sure that the entire pink glitter is covering on that rectangle. Okay. When you have it placed where you want it, press shift on your keyboard. We're gonna select that, that rectangle, gray rectangle and our pink background. And we're gonna right click and we're gonna press slice. So I'm gonna delete this 
right here. And then I'm going to take this gray new sliced rectangle and I'm gonna come over here to this, ch this check mark and I'm gonna unclick it. And then for the height, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. Now this right here is gonna be something that is eyeballing it to your design liking. Some people like the borders really thick. Some people like them really thin. Okay, when you have that done, you wanna press shift on your keyboard and then click on that pink glitter background and we're gonna align it vertically. Okay, now at this point, if you wanna make it a larger border, all you have to do is do the same thing we did again, making sure that this is unchecked and we're just gonna make the height smaller, shift on our keyboard, clicking that glitter background, align it vertically. You wanna keep doing that until you get the border the way that you want your border to look like. Okay, so for this next step, I am like someone that really loves to matchy match all of my stuff. And right now I am thinking we are doing a Barbie theme. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna go back over into my internet browser. I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna search up Barbie hex codes. Okay, we're gonna come over here into images. Anytime I am looking for a theme color, like what color should I use? I always look for their hex codes. The internet has everything and I have never not found what I was looking for when I searched this up. So the very first one is the Barbie scheme color. That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna right click that and open image in new tab. We can go ahead and delete this. So here is our hex codes that we have. This is all the colors that I'm gonna be using inside Cricut Design Space. So for that smaller gray rectangle, I want it to be like a lighter pink. So I'm just gonna highlight this number right here and copy it. Go back over into Design Space. I'm gonna click that dark charcoal uh, rectangle. I'm gonna come up here, click that charcoal box. We're gonna go down to Advanced and we're gonna go down here to this like hashtag number. Now I'm gonna paste that hashtag number in and look at that. Now the color of my pink changed to the exact color that was over in my internet browser. Okay, this is technically a cut file, and although we're not going to be using our crickets for it, do you see how in your cut file you, you can see this like line, this black line? I don't want that. So I'm going to click back over into that rectangle, and I'm going to come over here into basic operation, and I'm going to turn it over to a print then cut item. When I click out of it, do you see how that black line's no longer there? That's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so for the very next thing, I'm gonna work on the center portion of this first. So I'm gonna go over here into shapes and I'm gonna insert this little metal right here. It's a sun silhouette is what they're calling, but it looks like that Mattel emblem. And I'm just gonna make this larger and put it in the middle. This is like all your design eyes. So there's no right or wrong answer of how big or small you wanna make this. Now, I want my pink to be like a darker pink. So I'm gonna go back over into that hex code thing that we had, and I am going to select this pink right here, and I'm gonna Command C, go back over in Cricut Design Space, and I am going to then click over here on that charcoal box, go down to Advanced, down here to the hashtag, select it all, and paste. And there is our pink medallion. Now I'm gonna come over here into Operation, and print then cut, because I don't want that black line. Do you see how before there's a black line and after there is no line? That's what I'm looking for, just something nice and pretty and soft. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a text box and I'm gonna do the letter B because we are celebrating Barbie's birthday. I'm gonna come over here into font and then system and I'm gonna find the Barbie font. This font was found in Creative Fabrica. I'm not gonna show you how to download that because I have shown you in previous videos. And if you download a font that you've already had previously, it kind of messes up your computer a little bit. But if you don't know how to download a font, watch the video, it's really quick. I show you how to do it really quick. And then the link to the font that I'm using is gonna be in the description of this video. So I'm gonna find my Barbie font, click on that. Then I'm just gonna make this larger, put this inside of my medallion. Now I want this to be that same pink as that background. So I'm gonna come over here into the color. I'm gonna change it to that light pink. And remember that like dark line, that black line? I don't want that. So I'm gonna change the operation to print then cut. Now in my design, I have like a little offset. 
So all you wanna do is come over here into offset and see that blue line, that's gonna be your offset. I don't want it that big, so I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. When I have it the way that I want it, I'm gonna press apply. Now, I want this to be a different color pink, one pink that we don't even have here yet. So going back over into the hex codes, I'm now going to select this pink, copy, go back into design space, come up here to the black, down to advanced, select that hashtag and paste it. There is our offset to our Barbie B. Okay, so clicking out of that, in my design, I have it to be angled a little bit. So I'm gonna select that B offset, shift on my keyboard and then that B. You should have both the Bs selected. I'm gonna come over here and do you see how if I'm right over that text box, you can see like the arrow and it's going straight. If we go out just a little bit, do you see how it changed into a curved arrow? Now what I can do is I can rotate this. If you don't want to do that, you also can come up here into the rotate and you can just like up or down this if you wanted to. And you know what? I missed a step. So for this, this was like a last second addition that I had. Do you see how that pink has these like pink diamonds in there. I'm gonna go back over into Creative Fabrica and I'm gonna search up pink diamond. Okay, when I search up pink diamond, this one right here is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna download it. Once you have it downloaded, you wanna go into Design Space, go into Upload and Upload Image. Now that we're over in Upload Image, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna find the download file that I'm wanting. And I think it's going to be this one right here and just drag it over. That looks good. So I'm gonna go over into Complex, press Continue. Now this one right here doesn't need any type of editing because there's no background to it. So I'm just gonna press Apply and Continue. We want it to be a print then cut image. You don't want it to be those gray dots. And I'm gonna change this over to Pink Diamond and then press upload. Okay, I'm gonna click on my downloaded diamonds and press add to canvas, all right? I am just gonna resize this. We need to make this 11 inches wide and I put this over on top of that pink rectangle. It's okay that it's covering the B and stuff. We'll fix that here in a second. Now for mine, I have it on both the top and the bottom, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna command D, which is duplicate. I am gonna go over here into flip I'm gonna flip vertically. Okay, we're gonna line up the bottom one to the bottom of that pink. Okay, now that we have the pink the way we want it, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna select the sun silhouette, the B offset, and then our B. And we're gonna arrange it to the front. We're just gonna bring that up. And do you see how now it's, now the diamonds are behind that B? That's what we wanted. That was the step that I missed earlier. Okay, now the very next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find that Barbie clip art that we are looking for. So what you wanna do is go over into your internet browser and you are gonna search up Barbie PNG and then go to images. The one that I'm gonna use is this one right here. So we're gonna right click and press open image and new tab. This one's going to pop up and all you wanna do is take a screenshot of it. So command shift four on your keyboard if you're using a Mac and we want to draw a box around the Barbie. It is okay that we have the checkered box because we're gonna get rid of that here in a second. There is our screenshot. Going back over into Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go into Upload and Upload Image. I'm gonna drag in that Barbie screenshot. We're gonna do Complex and then press Continue. Okay, for this, because we have that checkered box that we wanna get rid of, we are gonna go down here into More Options and I'm gonna bump up this color tolerance to about 20. And then I'm just gonna press, see where that little uh, arrow thing is? I'm just going to click on the back of that checkerboard and you see how it all disappeared. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so when I did that though, a little bit of the gray uh, silverness of her crown went away. So I wanna come over here into restore and I'm just gonna hover over and click and restore a little that little portion of her crown that went missing. Okay, when you have that done, we're just gonna press apply and continue. You can see on the left, everything that is inside that Barbie is completely filled out. That's exactly what we want. However, we want to keep her a print then cut image. So we're gonna click on the print then cut. I'm gonna rename this Barbie and then press upload. We're gonna find our upload and press add to canvas. Okay, and I'm gonna resize this to it fits on the very bottom portion of my chip bag. Now in my original design, do you see how it curves over just a little bit. I do like the look of that. 
So keeping in mind of this pink line that's right here, I want to just carry over my Barbie until it just, just covers it ever so slightly. The next thing I'm gonna do is do another text box for happy birthday Barbie. It's the same thing that we've done before. We're gonna insert a text box, okay? I'm gonna put happy birthday Barbie and I'm just gonna resize this, keeping in mind of this like imaginary pink line that's right here. So here is that box. You don't want any of your letters to go to the right of that gray line now. Now I want the la the name to stand out. So I'm gonna go over here into advanced and I'm gonna ungroup to lines. So that way like happy and birthday and Barbie are all its separate line and I'm just gonna make this larger. Then what I'm gonna do is select all three lines and I'm gonna align it to the center, just making sure that everything is centered. I'm gonna change it over from a basic cut to a print then cut image. Okay, I'm gonna change over my color for just right now to like one of the pinks that I've decided. Okay, when I have it exactly the way I want it to be spelt and looking, I'm gonna click each line and then just press combined and then weld. So I'm gonna click birthday, right click, combined, and then weld. Barbie, right click, combined, weld. Okay, I wanna create a little bit of an offset, so I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard, selecting all three of those welded offsets. I'm gonna come up here into offset. I'm gonna resize my offset to my designed eye. Now, I don't want all three of my lines to be welded together like exactly how we had it when we, in, when we ungrouped to three lines. So I'm gonna come over here into welded offsets and I'm gonna unclick that. It'll look like nothing happened, but then we can press apply. Okay, so when we pressed apply, do you see how we have one, two, three offsets and they're all each separate lines? That's exactly the way I want it. So I'm gonna change the first two offsets. So the happy and the birthday, I'm gonna change it over into a lighter pink. And then for Barbie, I'm gonna change it over into a light pink. And then that offset that is black, I'm gonna change it over into the darker pink. Okay, so the front portion of our chip bag is finished. So let's go over into the back. And frankly, if you've gotten this far, the rest of it's going to be easy breezy. Okay, so let's work on the right side. And so we need to find the Barbie clip art, the Barbie head clip art. So going back over into your internet browser. Remember when we searched up Barbie PNG? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna search up Barbie SVG. Okay, you wanna scroll until you find the free file which is this one right here. It says free Barbie silhouette. And then I'm gonna right click and press open image in new tab. Same thing we did before with that Barbie clip art. All we're gonna do is take a screenshot. So command shift four, taking a screenshot, going back over into the design space. We're gonna upload and upload image, dragging over our Barbie, pressing complex, continue. And we're just gonna click that white and press apply and continue. Okay, I don't, need this to be a black print then cut image. So I'm gonna come over here into the cut image and I'm gonna rename this and press upload. Clicking our upload, we're gonna add to canvas. Okay, we're gonna resize this, resize this until it fits into that inside this pink rectangle. Remember, this is going to be our guide. Now for this next step, you don't want to hug the right edge of either side of this. And that is so we can keep um, a little bit of border to where we are able to tape this and nothing gets cut off. So you definitely don't want anything to be very, very close to the edge of this. So we wanna make sure and keep it a little bit small. Okay, I'm gonna come over here into the color. I'm gonna change it from black. I'm gonna change it over to a pink. It's a cut file, cause you can see that black line. So I'm gonna go into operation from basic cut to print then cut. And now I wanna create another offset for this. So I'm gonna come up here into offset and just create the offset of your choice. Press apply, change it over from black to a lighter pink. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna insert another text box and I'm gonna just put thanks for coming. If you wanted to leave that blank, you totally could. It's up to you. Your chip bag is your chip bag. You get to design it any way you want. I'm gonna make this smaller, turn this from basic operation, from basic cut to then print then cut. I'm gonna change it over to a darker pink. 
And now for this, I want an offset again. So I'm gonna come over here into offset, just gonna create that offset. I'm gonna do welded offset because in my design, it's all one color. So I'm just gonna press apply. Now it turned black, so I wanna change this over into a lighter pink. Okay, when I have everything I want designed on that right side, I'm gonna come over here to the right, I'm gonna click on that Barbie head, I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard, and I'm gonna click everything that's over here on the right hand side. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna, by keeping shift on our keyboard, I'm gonna click that back portion of that rectangle, that outline rectangle, and I'm gonna align it horizontally. Do you see how everything kind of shifted to the left a little bit? That's making sure that it is completely horizontal inside of our right flap of our chip bag. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the right. We're gonna go back into our internet and we're gonna go over to Creative Fabrica. We're doing a lot of back and forth here today, right? Okay, for this one, I'm gonna look up nutrition facts. This very first one pops up that is a bundle, I'm gonna click that. Now I've already downloaded it. It's a very large download, but it gives you like all the nutrition facts that you could possibly think of. So you're just gonna press download. When it's done downloading, we're gonna go back into Cricut Design Space. We're gonna go to upload and upload image. In your downloads folder, find your downloads. Okay, then you're going to find the nutrition fact that you're looking for. For this particular one, I want the Birthday Girl Nutrition Facts SVG. Now, if you're doing one for a coach or a birthday boy or a baby shower, all of them are here. Choose the one you want. I'm going to do the birthday girl. When you do that, all you need to do is take the, and you want the SVG version of this. Taking the SVG, we're going to drop it in. This is going to pop up exactly the way we want. You're going to press upload. Okay, so I did not press the upload. I'm gonna come over here and find the upload. I'm gonna click this one right here and press add to canvas. Okay, we're gonna turn this from basic operation. We are gonna turn it into a print then cut. And then I'm gonna change this over into that darker pink color. Now let's just make this smaller. When you do this, do you see how because we added in the pink diamonds, like it kind of gets a little hard to read but like in mine, you can't see anything. You, like it is really legible. You wanna go over here into shapes and you just wanna insert a square. I'm gonna unclick this right here and I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger than my nutrition fact. I'm gonna change this over from operation from basic cut to print then cut. We're gonna take that gray and we're gonna change it over into the same pink as that background that I've chosen. I'm gonna take that nutrition label that's right here and I'm gonna arrange it to the front. And do you see how now every all those diamonds are now hidden? That's exactly what I wanted. So if you want to mess around with the placement of this, you just wanna select the nutrition nutrition facts, shift on your keyboard and that square that we created, and we're just going to resize this. Remember, you wanna keep your border over to the very left free. You don't wanna put your stuff all the way over to the left because it will get cut off in the assembly process. Now what you wanna do is going back over into Creative Fabrica, we are gonna search up barcodes. This barcode clip art will pop up. I'm just gonna click on that and we can download this one right here. Going back over into Cricut Design Space, we're gonna upload and upload image. We're gonna find our download file, just like we've done previously, and I'm gonna insert the barcode of my choice. I'm just gonna choose that one. Okay, I'm gonna rename this barcode and just press upload. Then we're gonna find our file, go into add to canvas, okay? All we wanna do now is we're gonna resize this to make it smaller, drag it over here, Okay, and the same thing we did before. You see when I resize it and I put it over the Barbie head, do you see how you can see her hair? What you wanna do is doing the same thing we did before. We're gonna go into shapes, insert a square, okay? And I'm just gonna make this the same size. So unlock this, I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger than my UPC code. I'm gonna change it from basic cut to a print then cut, and I'm gonna change it from charcoal gray to the same pink that I have in my background. I'm gonna click that barcode, I'm gonna arrange it to the front and bring it forward. And do you see how now it's like right there? But I don't want it black. So I'm gonna do operation, print then cut, change that black over into that darker pink. Okay, so when I have everything, all of my elements done on the left-hand side, the same thing we did on the right, I'm gonna select that square, 
my nutrition facts, that other square and that barcode. I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to press making sure we have shift on our keyboard. I'm going to click the left guide outline and I'm going to align it horizontally. You see how some things shifted? It's exactly what we want. Now it's completely centered inside of our left portion flap of our chip bag. And let's pat ourselves on the back. Let's wash our hands with that. The design work is done. That is it. Now comes the fun part. How in the world do we get this outside of Crick Design Space and into something that looks gorgeous like this? Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to open up a Word document, a page document, any type of word processor that you have on your computer, you're gonna wanna open that up. Okay, going back over into Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna Command Shift 4. We are gonna take a screenshot of this. I want this little aiming tool. I don't want it to be outside of my chip bag. So I'm gonna come over here nice and tight to that corner. And I'm gonna draw a box around the entire chip bag. You don't want it to be out here because we then you're going to print that. We want to make sure our entire box is only covering the chip bag itself. When you have it, just let go and it's gonna pop up right here. We're gonna go into our pages document, word processor. We're gonna drag in our screenshot. Then what you wanna do is come over here and to rotate. We're gonna rotate this 90 degrees and we're gonna resize this, filling up our entire letter size page. Okay, now all you wanna do is Command P, which is print. That is it, that was how hard this was. Okay, I'm gonna go into the only printing one page. I'm gonna come down to media and quality. I am using glossy paper, so I'm gonna make sure and use glossy paper. Now, my printer in particular, you can use borderless printing. So I'm gonna come down here into paper handling. I'm gonna do scale to fit paper. Instead of it being eight and a half by 11, I'm gonna go down here to US letter borderless. Remember earlier when I said I don't use my guillotine cutter? It is because I can print borderless on my printer. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my high gloss paper, I'm gonna put it in my printer and then press print. Okay, so I printed out both options for you. The one that has the borderless printing and the one if that if you did not have a borderless printer. Do you see how this has like a white border on this and this one does not? This is the reason why I love my printer so much is I just saved myself some time by not having to trim anything off. Plus I get more printing space. Okay, so if you do not have a border borderless printer, what you're gonna wanna do is trim off all the white excess on this. When you're done doing that, then you'll have something that looks like this. Okay, so for the very next step, I'm gonna just turn this over and I'm gonna take my double-sided tape and I'm gonna go down one side, of, one short side of my print. Now, the side that you choose, if we roll this over, see how there's going to be a little bit more room on the left to roll my tape, my paper over. If we do this, because I didn't leave a big border, it's gonna cover my print. So. I'm gonna want to put my tape on this portion of my paper just so I can roll this over and it look really cute. So I'm gonna take my tape, I'm gonna hug the border here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna just trim off at the very end. Okay, before we move any further, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take my tape and now I'm gonna go on both long sides. However, if you have these cutters, like the pinking shears, and you're going to want to make this. Do not put the tape to the very edge like you did here. You wanna kind of inset it just a little bit. If you do not plan on cutting this and, keep, and you just want to keep it a straight line like this, then take your tape and put it to the very edge. Because I have my pinking shears, I am going to put my tape just a little bit in, cutting off the excess. Okay, because I'm using my pinking shears, I am just putting it in just a little bit, not at the very edge of my paper. Doing the same thing we did to the, top, to the first side, inset it just a little bit, cutting off the excess. 
Okay, I am done with the double-sided tape. You don't need it anymore. Okay, now what you want to do is taking the short end of our tape, we're going to take that piece off. We're going to roll it in together. Now, I don't particularly care for hard creases, so I'm going to be very gentle in this. If you like the hard crease look, you could totally make hard creases in here. But I am just going to nicely lay this over each other. Okay, see how... It's, there's no hard creases. I didn't bend anything. There's no creases. That's how I like my chip bags to look. Now, you wanna be mindful that your lines line up here and here. So everything is nice and even throughout. Okay, we're gonna start at the bottom and all you wanna do now is take your tape off this portion. Okay, then all you wanna do is make sure it's nice and center. Everything's nice and center before you push it down. There we go, see that? I put it nice and even, straight. Now I'm just gonna pinch the edges just a little bit. Now for this part, I do like to crease just the very tip of that. That is just like a normal chip bag, right? Okay, at this point, you could stuff it with items. So if you're doing this for your birthday party or whatever, you wanna put your items in because once we seal up the top, then that's gonna be it. So stuff these before you continue going, but then once it's stuffed, you just wanna take that top double-sided tape. We're gonna take that, that plastic off, doing the same thing you did with the bottom. We are going to line this up center. There we go. Look at how stinking cute. So if you don't want to trim up the edges and use the pinking shears or using the crinkle, look at this would be your finished product so stinking cute and everything looks absolutely amazing nothing is cut off looks great okay now what you could do is you can take your peaking shears and i am just going to cut the very end off of my paper doing the same thing with the top look at how stinking cute that is nice little scalloped edge on both sides okay using the crinkler i'm going to open this up just just like this you open it up so you can stick your paper inside of the opening. When you have it in there, you just shut the shut it and then you're gonna twist the handle. You don't wanna go all the way through because you're gonna crinkle your entire sheet. So you just wanna go a little bit to where you just get the very end, pop it out. See how now I have a crinkled bottom? So stinking cute. Doing the same thing, open this up, closing it, wrinkle just a little bit. You only wanna crinkle just a little bit pop it back out. All right, y'all, here is your finished chip bag Barbie party favor. Perfection, literal perfection. My goodness. And now you can see that my original one just looks a little bit different than the one we created together, but both of them still look absolutely amazing using the same template that I created with you. Look at that, just absolute perfection. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create, and I will see you later.